Hello. Today we're going to conduct an experiment to learn about how the economy works and neoliberalism. This is an easy experiment. You can do it at home or even for your high school science fair. This is all you need. Some wood for a frame, a bit of string, some plastic tubing, a balloon filled with water, a net, I made mine out of an onion bag, and a bicycle pump. That's all you need. But first, let's take a short aptitude test, just to make sure we're clear on the basic concepts. Okay, first we'll just do a warm-up. Which of the following words doesn't fit? Bunny, puppy, kitty, gerbil, or alligator? Time's up. Yes, you're right, alligator. All the rest of these words are cuddly pets, but alligators are not cuddly pets. Now for a harder one. Race, sex, sexual orientation, class, or disability. Time's up. That's right, class. Class is the one that's different. This triangle represents society. When we look at class, it looks something like this. Down here are the people who can't work or can't find jobs. They tend to be pretty poor. Here are the people with lousy jobs. Low paying, probably boring. They may have to work at more than one job at a time to get by. These are jobs that probably don't have benefits or job security, or they even allow them to get unemployment insurance, in which case they would, if they lose their jobs, fall down here. Above are the people with decent jobs. Jobs with benefits, security, pensions, probably more interesting and much better paid. And then at the very top, we have the people who own and run the corporations that most of these people work for. There are, of course, a few people, small farmers, small business people, who work for themselves. But generally, most of us work for the larger corporations. As you can see, all of these lines are horizontal. Now for the other words. Let's look at sex first, whether you're a man or a woman. If you look at our model of society, sex should look like this. Half of us are women, and half of us are men. Well, that's what it should be like, but in fact it doesn't because of discrimination against women. It actually looks more like this. Fewer women own those corporations or control them, and more women are in poverty, whereas men tend to dominate at the top. Okay, what about race? Race has to do with the color of your skin, your physical characteristics, even though sometimes the language you speak or where you come from or even your religion can get all mixed up in that. What does race look like in society? Well, it should look like this. All the different racial groups are found both at the bottom and the top of our social hierarchy. You see, just like in sex, the lines are mostly vertical. But unfortunately, just like in sex, it doesn't quite look this way. In fact, it's more like this. Some groups are mostly at the bottom. Other groups do a little better. Dominant group controls most of the top, and maybe another group is not quite as much at the top. This has to do with the way racism works in our society. Once again, though, the lines are still vertical. So let's look at sexual orientation. Sexual orientation is whether you're gay or straight or bi or lesbian. Now, since gay people are born everywhere, it should look like this. Gay people and straight people. But on the other hand, since gay people are discriminated against, maybe it looks more like this. Now, some marketing companies seem to think that it looks more like this. Anyway, since gay people aren't really counted in the census, we don't know. So, in deference to queer theory, Let's just leave this messy. Anyway, the lines are mostly 
vertical. And finally, what about disability? People with disabilities are people who have trouble doing things that other people don't, like climbing upstairs or seeing traffic lights or hearing a conversation or learning something really quickly. People with disabilities face a lot of discrimination. So when you look at society, people with disabilities tend to look like this. A lot more disabled people have no jobs at all or work in pretty low paying jobs. But still you can see the line is vertical. Now, that leads us to the other difference between class and those other words. Because if we wanted to change the differences between people in terms of race or disability or sexual orientation, the way that they're treated, then what we have to do is fight discrimination. But if we want to change class differences, then what we have to do is change the shape of society so that some people are not a lot wealthier than others. With a shape like this, the differences between the top and the bottom are not nearly so great. So now we're ready for our experiment in neoliberalism.